Hello and welcome to the MOB Public Forum video podcast. I'm Jennifer Bryant. And I'm Kim Van Ryan. And we're your co-hosts. The current pandemic has changed like quite a bit in our country. And this is an election year. Candidates have not been able to campaign for office the way they normally would. We hope these video podcasts will help you get acquainted with the candidates and make more informed, better decisions at the polls. Regardless of where you found this episode, uh, our podcasts are available on multiple platforms. You can find us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, or your favorite podcast platform, including Spotify. Election day is just around the corner. Early voting begins on October 21st and ends on October 31st. Election day, the very last day to vote, is Tuesday, November 3rd. Make sure you get to the polls. Today we'll be interviewing Hillary Turner. Hillary is a candidate for the U.S. House of Representatives from District 3 in West Virginia. Welcome, Hillary. We're so glad you could join us this afternoon. Thank you. Well, we didn't get to speak with you during the primary, uh, so we're excited to have you today. Um, take a minute and just give us a short introduction on who Hillary Turner is and why you decided to run for office. Okay, sure. Um, yeah, my name is Hillary Turner. I'm running for US Congress in West Virginia's third district. Um, so I've been uh, politically active for a long time since I was in high school, but um, I've worked as a teacher. I've worked in healthcare. Um, I'm a mom, so I have a two-year-old, and uh, my family has had a farm in Greenbrier County um, for six generations. Um, so I've actually also lived at the farm and um, worked on it and uh, that was that's been a really great experience um, and I decided to run for office because um, I felt like uh, well there's a few reasons I, I felt like our leadership here in southern West Virginia um, has been lacking as far as uh, really representing the people instead of big corporate interests um, but also I want to work to make sure that you know, we move West Virginia forward. Um, I want to work for a better future, you know, for my daughter and for all of our children here in West Virginia, you know, making sure that we um, fund our education properly, that we have really a great quality education, um, that all of our people have access to health care. Um, there's so many issues uh, that we could work on, but really um, this is about our future and fighting for a better future for our children. Um, so that's the main reason that I that I decided to run. Mm -hmm. Hillary, we take for granted that you're running for the House of Representatives for District 3 in order to benefit the people of District 3. So what do you see as the three major issues right now in District 3? Um, that's a great question. Um, you know, uh, the third district of West Virginia, um, it's one of the poorest districts in the United States. So I think one of the top issues that we really have to address in district three is um, poverty and economic development. Um, so I think we really need to work on uh, diversifying our economy and we can get more into that but um, you know addressing our poverty there's a lot of ways to do that but um, that is a big issue um, I think as one of the biggest um, needs that needs to be met in our district is access to clean water there are a lot of communities um, in uh, southern West Virginia that don't have access to clean water so you know, environmental, local environmental pollution has been an issue, but we need, we need to address that. Um, and then the third one I would say um, is healthcare and making sure that all of our people um, have access to healthcare. There's a lot of people in rural West Virginia that don't live anywhere close to a medical facility. And um, a lot of hospitals throughout West Virginia um, have closed. So I think that we need to go the opposite way and make sure that we're really investing in um, healthcare, making sure that all of our people have access to healthcare. 
Well, those definitely sound like issues uh, that I hear a lot from my family and friends who still live in District 3. Um, what are your plans uh, you know, for addressing those issues? Do you have any certain legislation or ideas that you think you uh, would like to use if you get to Congress? Sure, yes. Yeah. So let's jump into it. I'll start with you know, the first issue that I brought up, um, which is poverty and um, economic. So one of the ways that we can um, solve poverty is uh, with economic development. Um, so that we have more access to jobs. So, um, you know, we, our economy here in West Virginia has been um, really dominated by a small handful of industries, you know, predominantly coal, um, lumber, um, and more recently gas. Um, but we've seen a huge decline in um, coal jobs for decades, and especially over the past 10 years. So a lot of our communities, um, have been left uh, without any economic opportunities. So I think one of the things that we need to do is we need to work on attracting a diversity of different businesses here to West Virginia, but we also need to grow our small businesses um, from the ground up. Um, and there's, there's a lot of ways to do that. Um, as far as just directly addressing poverty, I think, um, Right now we're in a pandemic, so that makes it extra challenging. But I think right now um, I would support a universal basic income. Um, it's something that was pr proposed um, by Republicans and Democrats in the 70s. And Andrew Yang has brought it up um, more recently. Um, I think that universal basic income would just um, ensure that people are able to keep a roof over their head, that they're able to put food on the table. And then what they do from there you know, would only benefit them um, more if they um, can can start a small business or go out and work and earn more. Um, it would also pump, that would pump money into our communities um, that people could spend at restaurants or um, at their local businesses. Um, and then, you know, I think that we need grants and we need support of our small businesses, even, um, tax relief for small businesses. Um, I think um, we need to really support that growth. As far as um, development in our agricultural um, sector, I think we, we really need to support our small farmers. I think that if we legalized um, cannabis and hemp, it would allow our small farmers to really thrive and have something profitable. Um, and hemp has so many uses. It grows really well in our climate here in West Virginia and with our soils. And it has so many uses um, from paper to clothing, to food, to biofuel, to plastics, to construction materials. So I think we could really get creative with our economy here in West Virginia. Um, you know, we also are one of the most beautiful states in uh, America and we have had more attention come into our state with tourism. Um, but I think we could really invest in that and, and grow that sector, which would help, like I said, the, that um, small business development at the community level. And I think that that is um, a more sustainable form of economic development um, than just having like, you know, a big out of state um, corporation come in and, um, you know, hire a bunch of people and then lay them off the next year. Um, it's not very sustainable um, for our families. So, um, so I think we need to look at uh, sustainable economic development. Um, you know, there's a lot that we could do as far as making sure that people, you know, there's a lot of other things we could do to help people's uh, quality of life and that, that economic development, like making sure that we have good roads and access to broadband and uh, cell phone towers and some uh, remote rural places um, that just kind of improve people's basic quality of life and want to attract uh, families and businesses here and keep people here. We, West Virginia loses 40 people a day mostly young people going out to look for job opportunities. So, um, you know, I also think we need to pay our teachers more. I'm sorry, this is long winded, but there's a lot of issues here in West Virginia, but I think we, we also have to pay our teachers more. Um, like I said, I've worked as a teacher 
and I know what it's like to be underpaid and I know how that it's a really hard job and a really important job. Um, so I think our teachers should be making um, at least uh, $60,000 a year. That's actually below the national um, average for salaries. Um, but I think if we set that as our minimum, and I think there's room for the federal government to assist states like West Virginia who might need assistance with uh, meeting that goal for, for our teachers' salaries. Um, but a lot of teachers have kids and um, you know that would really help their families. Um, so uh, there's, there's so much that we can do and I'm also open to, um, I think it's important to have representation that is open to ideas from the people because I know that I'm not gonna have all the answers but we, but we need to be able to have conversations with people and listen to listen to everyone's ideas and bring them forward. So. All right. Well, voters often don't get the opportunity, Hillary, to meet their candidates in person, especially this year. So we'd like to take a few minutes and ask you a couple of questions designed to get to know Hillary Turner, the person and not Hillary Turner, the candidate. Okay. What would you say you're most passionate about? Um, probably um, protecting our environment. Um, it, you know, just being a mom and thinking about, um, you know, my daughter's future. I, but I really, um, on a personal level, I really enjoy um, organic gardening. So I got into that um, in college and moving that forward, I. Um, I'm also passionate about sustainable agriculture, um, permaculture. Um, so growing food in, in a sustainable way um, that can go really deep as far as uh, just different approaches to that. But um, it's something that, um, yeah, that I've done in a hands-on way with organic gardening and something that I would like to continue uh, pursuing um, my um, my fiance and I um, I'm I'm actually engaged, so people some people don't realize that. Um, but my fiance and I actually want to have a, a homestead. Um, my family has a farm, but we we would like to kind of develop our own um, land with like horses and blueberry bushes and um, all kinds of fun stuff. So. <laughs> So um, th those kind of go hand in hand with like the political side of protecting the environment, um, but also like the, the hands on side of, you know, doing what we can in our lives and being more in touch with our, our own food that we that we grow and that we eat. So. Mm -hmm. Hillary, what qualities do you most value in the people around you? Um, I value honesty in the people around me. Um, I value um, kindness and like good, good spirit, spiritedness. Um, just, you know, people, when people want to help their community and, um, you know, work to, to help other people around them, I, I really value that. But um, I also really appreciate honesty and, you know, when people can tell me how they're honestly feeling and, um, yeah, that, that's something, authenticity, I appreciate that as well, so. Well, it sounds like you probably don't have much of this, especially with a two-year-old, but what do you like to do in your off time? <laughs> um, so yeah, it, I feel like it has been a while since I've had a lot of off time, <laughs> so I've got to think about it a little bit, but I actually have a lot of different um, hobbies and things that I like to dabble in. I actually enjoy painting. Um, I enjoy music. I play um, a little guitar and a little uh, ukulele and um, I enjoy to travel. I've, I've, um, I've traveled uh, most of the United States um, in, in road trips um, and I've also enjoy you know, exploring other countries. Um, I actually um, taught English in Brazil for a year. So I, I learned Portuguese while I was there and I um, I volunteered in Central America for a while. So I learned Spanish. I enjoy learning other languages, um, meeting people of other cultures um, and learning from that. Um, but um, I, I also enjoy surfing. 
Uh, so, <laughs> so when I was in Central America, I got to do some of that. And I enjoy yoga. I've actually um, studied yoga for a long time and, I, and I've taught yoga for a while as well. Um, so I've taught in um, public schools, I've taught in private schools, but I've also taught in yoga studios. So <laughs> that might, that's something that probably a lot of people, maybe a lot of people don't know. So. <laughs> well, with that, we've come to the end where we like to give you a few minutes to tell us and the voters anything else you think we need to know, including how to get more information on your campaign, donate, get a yard sign, et cetera. Um, yes, so uh, these are uh, some of our yard signs. We also have some hemp yard signs left <laughs> um, that we've made. Um, you can go to hillaryturner.com. Um, check out our website. You can follow us on Facebook. Um, if you'd like to get involved with our campaign, we're, you know, we're working on getting out um, door hangers um, to people. So, you know, you can do contactless um, lit drops with door hangers. Um, we're doing phone banking and text banking. Um, and really just reaching out to your friends and family is a huge uh, impact. And, you know, making sure your friends and families uh, have a plan to vote. Um, we're encouraging people to vote early and in, in person or vote by mail, but make sure you do it early um, so that we get those votes in um, before November 3rd. <laughs> um, but, um, but yeah, uh, check out our website, follow us on Facebook. And if you'd like to get involved, just send me a message. I try to be as um, available to people as possible. And if you have any questions, um, about, I have a lot of things on my platform. So if you have any questions about that or want clarification, um, you can reach out to me and I'm happy to jump on a phone call with, um, with people and talk to them. Um, one of my main goals is to be available to um, the people of Southern West Virginia. And, um, you know, I think that that's something that we're lacking right now um, is that availability. So, uh, so, yeah, so I just want to put that out there. All right, Hillary, thank you so much for coming and talking to us this afternoon on this podcast. We really appreciate you doing that. We wish you the best of luck in your campaign. And folks, remember, stay safe and wash your hands. <laughs>